one. You're now watching two old farts making noises. And oh, we are here. It We're makes, live. You know, it's so funny that that little bit, I, I guess my mind, I think my mind plays tricks on me. Whenever I like something so much and it gives me so much joy, I right. forget about it so that every time I'm like, oh, that's right. We have this. So no, this there is There you go. Nice. I, I, that's, that's a great entrance. Everybody likes it. But I feel maybe we should finally do a new one. What do you think? It's spring. I have that, you know, rabbit fur thing. Say hi. Hi. Uh, God, here we go with the puppets again. Uh, well, at least David's not here with his puppet, so I'm okay with that. So. Well, don't you worry. David will be back. Yes, David will be back with his puppets. No time soon. So. Wait. The Macau. The Macau, yes. It's a Macau. It was I am so happy that those people gave a puppet to David because yes. I see him in a whole new light now. Yes. David, David is enjoying. I, I wonder if he took his puppet with him on Where'd his uh, on his holiday. Where do you know where he went? I do. He went to London. He went to England, I should say, because he went and he sent me a picture of his great great grandfather's tombstone from 1787. Oh wow! Yeah, he's got heritage back there. Yeah. My goodness, that's so nice. So he was there. So yes, yeah, so and now he's traveling back. And mm -hmm. next Friday, David will be here. Actually, Monday, you're doing a special show. Mm -hmm. So David will be on the show on Monday with you. Monday, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we'll be doing our first special every first of the month. We do something very, very interesting. Yes. There you go. So this will be the first of many. Because I do, I do think that little rituals like that make life so much more special, don't you think? Yes, he does. <laughs> Yes, it does. So, and and you're today. So today is just going to be a very relaxing end of the April show for you. It will be a very relaxing end of the April because first of all, I am still recovering from Manhattan. Now it is okay. a tradition. It seems every time I go to the city, uh, it takes me a week to recover. For wow! I know. I don't know how you guys live in cities. It's the, I well, think, there's, there's I indoor think, plumbing and all that stuff. It's really kind of a cool thing. It's, it's so a mix of things. Like, first of all, the air. The air is no bueno, to say the no least. No bueno? Okay. No, no. Number two, the ground. You know that we're electrical beings. So, yes. we the, the, the two days without touching grass, no bueno either. And number No bueno? Wow. This grass, you go to Central Park. Yeah, well, who? Yeah, well, I was not around there. Number one, okay. I didn't have time. I was on a very tight schedule. Excuse me, I didn't no, realize. I know, how I many people go to Central Park? So, Everybody I mean, goes to Central Park. Yeah, but every day throughout every the day. day, you know Both that every, I every day. Grass throughout the day like a few times. Who has that luxury in the city? Everybody does. All right, people the rich people are next to Central Park. Anyway, maybe you. Then number three, there's just like so much energy from so many different people. There is always surrounding you. It's exhausting. Okay. Absolutely exhausting. So it always takes me a week to recover. Oh, and number two, of course, every time I go to the city, this one, my little yeah. hippo. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's why he feels that he's very heavy as a hippo. So he keeps falling always. He ah. fell on my foot. My okay. foot and broke. Okay. You broke the foot or you broke the phone? We broke the screen. Ah, okay. But they have shaped places that'll fix that for you. I know. My ex went to a place to fix it. It took right. 10 minutes and cost two, $250. Thank you very cheaper, much. It would have been cheaper to say the phone got stolen and just get a new phone. So, so yes, every time the city just bitch slaps me with uh, get out of there, basically. And they, very she doesn't nice. Care. Very and time. Oh, that's another yeah. thing. So I guess it's more than three things. Time. Yeah. I wanted to go to the MoMA and okay. stop at my favorite place for lunch. And for that, I woke up at 4.30 to take the train and go and arrive at 9.30. Sure. David was waiting for me there. David Katz, I love you. 
And uh, and yes, I don't know how. I have right. time to do absolutely nothing once again. Last time I went to see galleries, I couldn't find time to see galleries. I don't know where time goes in this island. Oh, it's so, like, a, what is it, that movie, Lost? No, the, the show. So, Lost. so here's, a que- here's a question for you. So yes. you, if you get up at 4.30, what time do you catch the train to the city? The train, it was it, it was at 5.55? It was okay, 5.55 so or 7.10. Okay, maybe well, 7, fact- no, maybe, no, maybe 7.10 because I read 9.30 and the train is almost three hours. Is that Pete? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, it would be 6 then. So maybe 6. Okay, it's a good thing because if you knew that, that would help you out. I mean, this is going to say, if you knew how long the train ride was and what time it left. Well, I that. arrived at 9.30. From 9.30 to then, you know, get to see my clients at 5.30, I thought yeah. I had plenty of time. What wait, wait. The- and, and what time did you train home did you take? Next day. Oh. At one. At one. Okay, the train ride, though, the train ride is always amazing because I pack on foods, delicious, yeah. amazing foods. I got some delicious sashimi. I went to, oh, I first I ordered, of course, my lamb shank from Cafe Mogador and a whole of rigmarole of amazing things. I'm drooling to say. I just say, stop salivating. Oh, I need yeah. to make one here. Yeah. So, lamb shank was number one. Then yeah, yeah. I got some sashimi and then some fruits. Okay, fruits. Yeah, you guys are crazy with the prices. So I went to the one of my favorite markets because I love the upside down tree at, or is it Grand Central? Right, right. And that fruit corner, right on. Why didn't you go to dim sum? Why didn't you go to dim sum, darling? One thirty-five well, was fifty. I did not have the time. My you had the time. Had if you had the time to go to Grand Central, you had the time to go to dim sum, darling. But I, Next trip. You yeah, know, yeah, okay. No, but it was actually on my list. It okay. was actually on my I list. I believe you, sure, sure. It's yeah. the second so time were... on my list to go, and I don't have the time to go. So hopefully third time's the charm. But anyway, so okay. I got some fruits. I got a little, you know, those like little green boxes where you have fruits? Yeah, what? sure. So yeah. A little green box of twenty five dollars. Mis- yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can't I believe it. That you know it and no one knew buy it. I didn't know and <laughs> you know I almost felt offended that I didn't want to buy it, so I did buy I'm, it anyway. I'm, I'm born and raised in New York. I know it's like expensive in New York. Like everything's more expensive in New York. Just that's just how you go. Well, it was delicious. It was a beautiful, delicious train ride. I had my okay. foldable portable chopsticks that I had with me and nice. my little Pellegrino and my yep, yep. everything was great. My limes. Anyway, so yeah, the train ride was very nice. And very I cool. stood by the window to see the Hudson on the way up this time. Ooh. Finally, this time, actually, that's not true. Even this time, every time I can't figure out on which side to sit. How is that happening? Is it because I'm blonde? Steven, tell me. <laughs> um, I mean, not so, as platinum as I used to be, as you guys going to say. But so, but yes, I would say it, it, you're having a blonde moment. Then if you can't make the side of the train, you, you could do. And, and you what? know, the, the funny thing is that I, I really concentrate to think about. Okay, it needs to be this way. No, every time it's the other way. Right. So, uh, you, so, so on one trip, why don't you just sit on the left side going up, and the next time you sit on the right side, and this way you do it both, and it's not that big of a deal since you're going to be in the city like every other week. No, I'm not going to be. No, no. No, you're done. Oh, no, excuse me. Every other week. Why would I do that? Absolutely not. New York City. Uh, next time I will be in the city, I will be delivering an amazing piece for an amazing client who is part of my networking group. Very at nice. A wonderful lawyer, an injury lawyer. If you have an injury, you have to call him. He is absolutely amazing. He will take cases that have been hanging out, not finding any good lawyers, and find you great settlements. But mm-hmm. I'm making for him. Probably one of the most beautiful pieces I have ever made. It says okay. Lady Justice. The size is, can I read it from here? I think 38 by 40, 36 by 48, or well, oh, something I... like that, big enough. And All it's right. going to be metal Ooh. and enamel. So nice. I brought him actually a sample in the city. Well, we couldn't meet because he had an emergency at the court, like lawyers do. But right. on a little piece of metal, I have been layering enamel and the colors Ooh, the okay. as as of now i think i have 25 lawyers and i put some uh can we see it before you ship it to him so we can see it like oh my god of see it? Well, listen, okay. this is going to take me so that's the thing so since so the layering i mean it's going to take me a while so on that little that's piece fine. of thing, it's been a few weeks but the thing that it gives which is amazing it gives you yeah. this uh like almost hologramic feel 
you know, it's nice. exponential because of yeah. all the different layers. It's my goodness. So right, good. Well, we want to see, we want to see the new art. We want to see the new art before it goes. No, of course, of course. Yes. And, and, the, and you know how amazing where I live is, is mm -hmm. because I do. the one thing that I did not think about is that enamel. Yes. Yeah. I knew that it would smell. I did not think of how much. <laughs> Ah. I prepared a whole room with plastic and things and tarps in my attic that is like not Dexter. yet sure. redone. Right. There's no way I could have done it there. And right next to me, Saw Salem Artworks is a place where they do, they work with metal, wood, ceramics, glass. They, they blow glass over there. Right. And, uh, and, and you can actually you rent a room oh, wow. where you make your art for $40 a day. Nice. So you're making your art for $40 a day. I mean... Yes, on right. top of the material. So yeah, that's good. This would this would be an expensive venture. It'll probably take me a, a few weeks, but that's that's fine. But I'm the nice thing is he's probably paying you a nice price for it, so it's good. So is. you're making money. There you he go. Is. He is. And all your fans will be able to see it, and because of I that, know. other people, no. other people will want to buy. It. Well, other people will want to get your art as well. I have no music around me. I was going to make a little choo choo, -choo but well, yeah, where's your ukulele? Well, that's not what I was looking for. I was gonna say, it's like you have music like, around. How, how do you call that thing that has lots of little symbols, like a, ch -ch 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 -ch. a tambourine? A tambourine. Why can I remember that name? Because it doesn't sound like a tambourine. Why is it a tambourine? Find me the etymology of the tambourine. That makes okay. no sense to me. I'm Go telling you, we got <laughs> it now, wrong. <laughs> all of a sudden, now I've become your executive assistant. I'm very excited about that. Oh, so. well, we have chat. Chat is absolutely wonderful. Chat GPT he, can tell us about it. You know, he reviewed. Can I can I translate you? So I've been having a little bit. I I was telling Michael how much I miss my country and how hard it has been for me to to live here and end right. up here and unable to really be back because of circumstances for 16 years. Right. In a country where the language is not my language, there's so many subtleties that I miss. And and he really understood my feeling until I told him, imagine, because he spent a year in China. So I told him, imagine right. that year you spent in China just for a year. You end up living a catastrophe, my father's death. And then you end up just staying there. And you, you build a life there because there is no way you can build a life anywhere at this moment in your life. He was like, oh my God, I'll cry myself to sleep every night. So I finally got him to, to feel it. But then I wrote, a, I wrote a song for him to also understand that. Okay. Uh, and I asked Chet to review it. Okay. So I'm going to read you. This isn't the Dragonfly song, is it? No, no, no. That was okay. just a week. Mes larmes séchées s'évaporent. Uh, interesting. I don't have it anymore. See, <laughs> this is where the technology is good. Do you know chat? You can get chat GBT and what's up now. In what? What's up? We have, uh, we have, I have my, I have a what's up app with chat GBT in it. So I can chat GBT with my chat GBT whenever I want. What's up? Ooh, I like yeah. this. The chat GBT and, and what's up and I were very, very close now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, where is his review? Okay. So just to give you just to give you a little bit of uh, perspective and in on the story. Okay. We have a French songwriter, Nougaro, which is probably one of the most amazing songwriters of all time. Okay. Uh, and we have an expression in French for whenever you have a sleepless night, whenever you don't sleep or stay up all night, it's called a white night. Okay. Uh, and he wrote this amazing song and he started the song by saying, sur l'écran noir, de mes nuits blanches, où je me fais mon cinéma, which means on the black screen of my white nights, where I make my own cinema. Isn't Ooh, it amazing? Yeah, it's beauty. And then, all right, so Charles Aznavour, which I think everybody knows, Charles Aznavour for the pronunciation of America. <laughs> for the Americans. <laughs> yes, so he wrote a song, um, La Bohème, which mentions uh, Montmartre and its hill and uh, the memories of nostalgia that he has uh, of his 20s. So this is how what I wrote goes. I go on stage with Nougaro on the screen of his nights. Oh, this was translated from, yeah, that, I'm sorry. I send that to 
Oh, funny. Okay, I did Google Translate. I don't know why this was a bad idea. Okay, I go on stage with Nougaro on the screen of his nights and all the way up on the mounds remembering my 20s as Navour in my curls whispering to me. Remember these beautiful times that pass, sublimated by memories that bask, all in the palm of your hand in a little refrain sprinkled with bitterness that embraces you, lacerating your years, lacerating the laces of your mourning, are like all those little coffins stacked behind you like a silken pyre floating just in the corner of your eye. And then chat. <laughs> I asked him, um, I asked him very politely, what do you think about, and then, and then I sent him the, uh, the whole text. As an AI language model, I cannot have an opinion or emotional response to the text. However, I can provide a linguistic analysis of the passage. The passage appears to be a piece of creative writing or poetry that describes a person's experience of going on stage while being reminding of past memories and the passage of time. The use of imagery such as little coffins and silken pyre evokes a sense of sadness and mourning for the passing of time and the memories that are now gone. The inclusion of references to French singers such as Nougaro and Aznavour adds a cultural and historical dimension to the passage. Overall, the passage seems to be a reflection on the bittersweet, bittersweet sorry, nature of nostalgia and the passage of time. He's not that bad. Not that bad. Not okay. very and then wait and then magic 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 i wonder oh yes keep keep uh so because i i took i took a video of that so i want you to so okay can you see yeah you can see oh that's not there and, then, okay. and then look i sent him smiley face yeah and then he kept click 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 he kept and thinking he didn't he know what to, what to make of it that's funny you didn't know what to make of it, but after a few seconds, I stopped the video too soon. All right. He sent to me. He sent to me. I am glad my response made you smile. Is there anything else I can help you? That's See? awesome. Very nice. It's getting good. I I'm really flipping like a pancake on AI on my opinion of AI that I had in the beginning. All right. It was, you know, a little. That it will replace or make us more lazy but the thing is if we use it well it can be a wonderful tool a wonderful tool because there is no person in the world that has the amount of information right that ai has so it, you can use it as your personal assistant you can use it yeah. even some writers uh use it to to research some words you know when they're stuck and they, they can't find the right word for their you know poem or anything that they're working on it's like an interactive thesaurus i love thesaurus oh thesaurus is their beauty because you come up with different words i like that very I nice i know it's beauty it's very good so so, <laughs> so basically chat gbt reviewed your song and he said it was good so there you go you have a critic i wonder if they're biased no i don't think so i'm going to write a song later no, and i'm going to ask you to review it not yet I'm going to send him the other song that I wrote. I'm not going to read you, read it to you, but I mean, for two reasons, because I want to sing it to you with okay. the ukulele because the music makes it. So that's what? next. Is that, is that, is that, is that Monday or Friday of next week? I, well, you know what? Well, the second, it depends on the second reason. So far, I cannot read the song without crying. So oh, okay. how much so. I, miss, I miss my old continent. So I wrote it. It's beautiful, but I can't go through it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can I tell you? That would be the short. We did the short with David and the puppet. You cry would be the short that we would put out for everybody. I mean, well, let me at least manage to cry through it while I sing it. As of gotcha. now, I just cry and I melt in a wa in a waterfall okay. of sadness yeah. so, and longing. So once I can just you know sob and cry so it's very beautiful and you can actually hear what i'm reading and i mean what i'm singing right i can do that 
right. All right. All right. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we'll see how Monday we'll see how Monday looks <laughs> or next Friday. So Monday you're gonna do a special show. We're very excited about that. And to, and today you're just enjoying the end of April. And I know we're gonna read from our favorite guy, Bernard. And uh how did you know? Oh, because God forbid we don't read from the Bernard. Oh. So yes. You know, well, you remember my secret the books uh, of colors, the secret. Yeah, secret book, book of colors, colors. sure. We still do not know where it is. Where the colors went. I think I have the suspicion that because it's spring and there's so many flowers to color, they on a field trip to. I think it's with the guy with the uh, with the furniture store. Yeah, but you're very pragmatic. Come on, go with me. Very, okay, okay, okay. So yes, it's on. It's on a. It's on a trip. Ooh, That's twenty right. bucks. Oh. Look at you. Did we, did like you this book know, I, I love myself. I'm like a squirrel. I put money everywhere in every little corner so that you know if i ever run out i just right. have to open pockets or or little cupboards but yes that's right so this is the one that we found which again last night i couldn't find him again and he was right by my bed so mm -hmm. god yes. we missed you have we missed him or what yes oh my god his knowledge of nothing is oh, just can i tell you the best Nice, be nice. Otherwise, I'm not gonna read anything wonderful for you. Remember, he gave us the lake of love. So. I remember, I remember. Yes, the lake of love. Let's the lake see. Of love. Ooh, to find an idea. Let's see if if we read that one. Trois cent says, voyons voir. That that would be that would be good for for the end of the month. And Fun. for you kids that are listening on the on the podcast, he's going through the book right now, looking. Oh for my goodness. Message. You know, I wish I could translate this, but I think it's probably not a good idea because this one is called one plus one equals three. I think this would be wonderful for me to prep it for next time. I think oh, I think you God. should read I think you should read it now and just go where it goes. This isn't an adult show. No kids listen to this. This is too heavy for them. You should read it now. All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. This is gonna be awesome. Read me in advance. Oh, good. Okay. Is this going to be read in French or English? I'm going to read it first in French, and then I'm going to do my best. I'm going to read it in French to get an understanding, because I'm just going to put it right here. There are some okay. equations and stuff. Oh, my God. Okay. And maths, are, I don't even... I, gotcha. I'll have to think on how to explain this. You might yeah. help me. Steve. I might help you. I'm or... going to read it first in, in French so I can try to get a sense, because sure. maths, numbers without a dollars, I don't calculate them well. <laughs> Just pretend they're dollars. All right, everybody. She's going right. to read from the Bernard book. 1 plus 1 égale 3. Cela signifie que l'union des talents dépasse leur simple addition. Mm, that, that, that's going to... You're going to love that. I can't wait for this. <laughs> Cela signifie que la fusion des principes masculins et féminins, de petit et de grand, de petit et de grand, de haut et de bas, qui régissent l'univers, donnent naissance à quelque chose de différent de l'un et de l'autre et qui les dépasse. Donc 1 plus 1 égale 3. Tout le concept de foi dans nos enfants qui sont forcément meilleurs que nous est exprimé dans cette équation. <rire> Donc de la foi dans le futur de l'humanité. L'homme de demain sera meilleur que celui d'aujourd'hui. Mais 1 plus 1 égale 3 exprime aussi le concept selon lequel la collectivité et la cohésion sociale sont les meilleurs moyens de sublimer notre statut d'animal. Mettons-le en équation. Ah, ça, ça va être marrant. On sait que A plus B fois A moins B égale A au carré moins AB plus BA moins B au carré. Oh my God. Um, you're blushing. I, can't, I cannot wait to hear this in English. Moins, moins AB et plus BA s'annulent. Donc, on obtient, entre parenthèses, A plus B fois, entre parenthèses, A moins B égale A au carré moins B au carré. Divisons les deux termes de l'équation par A moins B. On obtient, entre parenthèses, A plus B fois, entre parenthèses, A moins B. Ça, je ne sais même plus comment on dit. Équation <rire> divisé, mmh. divisé, wow. divisé par A moins B, attention, égal A au carré moins B au carré. Ninja, how do you say that? Divisé mmh. par A moins B. 
Simplifions le terme de droite. Ouh là là. A moins B sur A moins B étant égal à 1. On obtient donc A plus B égale A au carré moins B au carré sur A moins B. Posons A égale B égale 1. On obtient alors les deux côtés de l'équation 1 plus 1 égale 1 moins 1 sur 1 moins 1. Comme N sur N est toujours égal à 1, on obtient donc 1 plus 1 égale 1. Si on ajoute 1 des deux côtés, on obtient 3 égale 2 soit 3 égale 1 plus 1. Certains esprits cartésiens remarqueront que 1 moins 1 étant égal à 0. Il est interdit de diviser par 0. Ce à quoi on peut répondre que c'est interdit précisément parce que la division par 0 donne l'infini et que l'infini n'est pas une notion mathématique utilisable. Cependant, ce que nous, qui, nous sommes, qui ne sommes pas coincés par les règles mathématiques, pouvons nous autoriser à l'infini. Dans ce cas, 1 plus 1 est non seulement égal à 3, mais aussi à l'infini. Et les mathématiques rejoignent alors la philosophie et la physique quantique. Steven, you're putting me, uh, you're putting me on multiple pickles here. This is going to be a toughie. <laughs> yeah, right. I like anything for a multiple pickle. Okay, so right. here we go. 1 plus 1 equals 3. Got it. This means that the union of talents is more than their, that their, that just their addition. It means that the fusion of masculine and feminine principles of the little and the big, the high and the low that rule the universe gives birth to something different from one and the other and that How do you say dépasse? That is bigger than them. Okay. So therefore, one plus one equals three. All the concept of faith in, in our kids, they're obviously better than us. Well, not all of them. <laughs> uh, is expressed in this equation. Therefore, the faith in the future of humanity. I wish for it. <laughs> so, what was that written? <laughs> Yeah, really? When did he write this? Uh, L'homme de demain sera meilleur. So the, the man of tomorrow will be better, better than the one of today. But okay. one plus one equal three expresses also the concept in which collectivity and, and social cohesion are the best ways to sublimize our, stat, our animal attributes. Let's put them into equation. Oh, how exciting. We know that. Open parenthesis, open parenthesis, A plus one, no, A plus yeah. B, close parenthesis, multiplied by open parenthesis, A minus B, close parenthesis, equal A square minus okay. AB plus BA minus B square. You should write this down. I am. Oh, you are? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And then in that equation, they, he says that minus AB and plus BA annul themselves. So therefore, you would get open parenthesis, A plus B, close parenthesis, multiplied by A, open parenthesis, A minus B, close parenthesis, equal A square minus B square. Let's divide the both terms of the equation by open parenthesis, A minus B, close parenthesis, and we'll obtain I'm going to show it to you and try to read it. That's it. I don't a, think you have to. I don't. You may not have to read the parentheses. You may just oh, want to read I really, this, this Okay, spot. so A plus B times A minus B <laughs> divided by A minus B equal A square minus B square. Uh, minus AB. And how do you call that? That straight line. It's a ninja it's line. A, what is we it? Call it a straight, we can just call it a straight line. No, but well, how do you call it an equation? Divided, divided. Divide, oh, a divide line. Yeah, it's the great divide. Okay, so then... <laughs> <laughs> like the north and south. And so. Let's simplify the term on the right. So the A squared minus B squared divided by A minus B. So then A minus B divided by A minus B right. being equal to 1. We will then obtain A plus B between parentheses. <laughs> Okay. Equal First a square minus b square divided is. by a minus b. 
And okay. let's put A equal B equal one. We will then obtain on both sides of the equation, one plus one equal one minus one divided by one minus one. As N on N is always equal to one, we will then obtain that one plus one equal one. And if we add on both, un des deux, and si on ajoute un des deux côtés, and if we add one of either size, we will obtain three equal two. So therefore three equal, equal one plus okay. one. Did you well, follow? I, did. I, fo I, I follow, this is the same guy, of course, who talked about something about um, biblical times that was wrong. So his one plus one equals three is fascinating. So everybody should write their comments below and work the formulas out and show us how they came out with one plus I'm one not finished. Three. I'm not finished. So, okay. okay. So the, uh, some Cartesian spirits will oh, notice cool. yeah. that one minus one yeah. being equal to zero, it oh, yeah. is not allowed to divide it by zero. Oh. To which we can respond that this is forbidden precisely mm -hmm. because the division by zero gives infinity, and then infinity is not the mathematical notion. Infinity that and we beyond. Can use. <laughs> infinity and beyond. Awesome. Toy Story. Although we we are not we are not uh, not squeezed. What is it? We are not stuck by. No, no, no. But therefore, although us, they are not stuck by mathematical guidelines. Okay, okay. Rules, rules, rules. Rules, okay. Rules are good. Can authorize ourselves to use infinity. In that case, one plus one is not only equal to three, but to infinity. And mathematics will come together then in philosophy and quantum physics oh how exciting yes enough <laughs> using quantum physics one plus one equals three all day sure i mean i just want to show you very briefly <laughs> the equation bits so that all right so this is so that you can if anybody who's watching yes and i did not explain it well so you can you go. see what it looks like because i didn't really follow it fully here's the best so, part some geek that's listening to this is going to put in the comments section and write this whole thing out for you and explain how one plus one equals four. Oh my God, please, anybody, yes, please. I would love some thoughts on that. But the thing is, I do, I do agree in the philosophical sense that one plus one equals, yes, yes. I mean, I don't know if it's three, but it, it equals something more in the sense that, yeah, when two people come together, it doesn't make, you know, people say that we like when they're one as a couple, I think it's a little weird. Like there should be more than one, you know. Oh, well, yeah. And if you're one as a couple, then you have to share clothes. It's a whole thing. I hate that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. And if the girl's shorter than you, it doesn't work. Because <laughs> <laughs> if the girl's shorter than you and, it, you know, you put on one of her skirts. It you know, the one great <laughs> thing, Michael has the same size shoes, almost the same size shoes I wear. So I can swing all the beautiful. I got some shoes. beautiful Westons for me. You know, those leather shoes with strap, sure. double straps. All right. And I got an 11 thinking that I would fit. And it didn't fit. I did not, but yes. I'm very hopeful that in the winter with my very big woolen socks. It'll fit. Now, Michael can wear that, though. So it's nice to know that Michael can wear those shoes. Next time I see him, I'll be like, can you wear the Western shoes for me? I'll be good. So. Oh, yes. We dance with them. Yes. Oh, my God, guys. Yes. I don't know if anybody loves whoever's listening ballroom dancing i know that some gen younger generations will think that oh god boring old people you know slow right. bullshit you guys are crazy and missing out and the i had a revelation yesterday so back uh -oh. in prince where i grew up we used to dance what they called le rock oh sure which is not le rock at all it's actually foxtrot and yesterday we finally learned some moves of the fox rod. And then I just, you know, started twirling and dancing like I used to 20 years ago. It's one of the wow. funnest swirling rhythmic. It's so much fun. Well, it's one of the best dances. So please. So you, ball, you ballroom dance doing the fox trot. 
Yes, but no, but you see, ballroom dance sounds ugh, sounds boring. I don't know so why. Bo- so is Foxtrot, just so you know. <laughs> Foxtrot sounds great. What are you saying? Okay, mm. okay. Well, you know, in my generation, we just we pull the woman over the head and drag her back to the cave. So it was easy for us. So we didn't have to do dancing. What? I missed all of that, and I think probably for good reason. My my probably. my brain has like a beep sound for yeah, you when I go cuckoo. Yeah. No, but, and so and so our we did six weeks. We have two weeks left. I mean, okay. we signed up there for the six weeks, and I already offered to the dancers to create a Facebook group. Some of them even came from Vermont. I'm so excited! Ooh, and there was Vermont. One of the best dancers, that couple, a lovely couple. So yeah. we're going to have because we have so many musicians upstate here. So instead right. of rehearsing at home or in their own garden, we'll put maps uh, and you know gazebos, little gardens yeah. on the beautiful blooming tree. We'll put times and dates for musicians to just go there, play, and we'll go meet and dance. Nice. I like that. Amazing. What do you mean nice? Pringles are nice. This is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> this so like, all of a sudden, you sound like my wife. She'll cook, she cooked this gourmet meal the other night, and I was like, oh. She goes, what do you think? I go, it's nice. I like it. And, she, and I get this look like, nice. You like it? I spent 17 hours in the kitchen and it's nice and you like it. She goes, a big potato is nice and you uh, like it. This is like, I'm like, I'm sorry. It's wonderful. The best. Um, she made a um, steel head trout with a special sauce with yeah. like homemade something or other with something that my, my, like my wife's like a real, like a real chef. Right. So she's like a gourmet cook. Hence we have a restaurant in New York. And so sitting over here in the corner, which I can't show, she made me a gourmet taco. So as soon as we're done, I'm going to eat my cool. gourmet taco. But so she she gets like, she'll wake up when she's in town. She's like, I'm going to make something this morning. I'm like, okay. So it could be like a gourmet taco or it could be a 47 course meal. So I never know when she says, are you going to, are you hungry? I never know how to answer that. It's like. No, that's so uh, nice. I, I have. Oh, remember Tommy who was on our show, who lay, who is back on Fair Isle. Yes, I, 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 we follow each other on Instagram now. Wonderful, but so, yes. so yeah, we, 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 we chat every, every now and then. Yeah. And yesterday, I was so proud of my. I, I put some uh, cauliflower. We're gonna do a cooking show soon. I put some right. like cauliflower to roast, and and I did it in a. I did it with olive olive oil, walnut oil, uh, ground masala, and vanilla extract. And put Ooh, it to very nice. It was so delicious. And then I told I I didn't tell the whole recipe to Tommy, but I told him that I was cooking, and he told me that he just made an a wild algae, no algae and wild mint pesto. I was like, oh my wow, god, that sounds cup, delicious. That sounds totally boring. I need to up my game. So that's delicious. Well, yes, you should do. I think your fans would like to see a cooking show at some point. Oh my goodness, I have so many wonderful recipes. I I, you I should do. Out be it yesterday do you actually i mean at the log cabin where you guys live in the middle of nowhere um, it's not a cabin guys, she's a beautiful, the, the two, beautiful the, victorian the, lady on the hill okay so in the lesbian house that you live in um on the hill so do you, oh, um, do you, you guys do you, do you guys actually have, first of all have indoor plumbing and second do you have electricity and if you do you could do you, then you could actually do a cooking show from the kitchen I know. I, I was thinking. I, I'm actually. So I was going to take a week off next week to do the reset of the kitchen because it's not practical to do that. Right. Uh, but then I remembered that right now I need to film. Oh my God! I still haven't sent it to you. We talked about that last week. I need to send to you my short that I made last yeah. year to present my business for the BNR oh, yeah. networking group. And just like last year, when it sneaked up on me and uh, I had three weeks to go and I met this right. guy at a bar and he's like, I'll help you. I know how to make videos. And we made this amazing gem of a video. Yeah. yeah. After doing it together and then editing. Edit- whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Making the video. Together. Doing the video. <laughs> okay, just checking. Hold your dirty mind down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and so we, we filmed everything within those three weeks where we had time. Then we edited it the day before we mm-hmm. started at 10 30 in the morning and we finished at five in the morning the next day wow for me to present it at seven in the morning okay and after finishing it i was like oh my god all right we'll never do this again next time we'll start a few months in advance so we did nice right. and well nope nope, nope. i'm gonna like say three here, weeks there you go <laughs> Okay. So i well, can't take a week off to uh, to fix oh, so you won't be you're not doing a show next week 
No, I can do it. I can, I can do okay, it. I spent a whole week reorganizing my home and going through my clothes and my spices. So it'll have to wait three weeks again. To, for cooking. That's Listen, all I know is that we have people that have said we would love to see the cooking show. So oh if you goodness. did a cooking show, that would be awesome. You know, maybe one thing, one of the things we could do, because I do, we can do maybe one a month. I do an amazing, there delicious, different roasted chicken every week sure. for Shabbat. Every week sure. it's a different chicken. And for so you people that don't know what Shabbat is, that's where the Jews kill a Gentile. Go ahead. So. No, <laughs> don't misrepresent ourselves, you, you crazy men. What is this? Take it I'm back. I'm kidding. We just keep them in a cage for the night. Anyway, like, go ahead. <laughs> so are you going to end your show in something on French? Do we have a French a French have, thing? Um, let me see. Do we have something in French? Oh, we do have. Let's uh, see. We have Let's something in French. French. And everybody, just remember, subscribe and like to the channel, number one. Number two, leave your comments below. And if you want Noosh to cook something special, whether it be a Jewish dish because she does things for Shabbat oh, no, or no, no. No, another no, dish. Thing. No, no, no. <laughs> no requests. If you cook something special, you can't give me a recipe because I I tried every time I follow a recipe, it's it's not good. No good? Okay. I think the pressure of, the, you know, I need to weigh things. And then yeah. I, whenever I make souffle, I don't even souffle. Look at me. I spend too much time in America. Souffle. Okay. Oh, oh, souffle. Oh, comme un star, souffle. Yeah, whenever oh, yeah, I make yeah. souffle, I, I don't put a timer. I can smell when it's ready. Right. So you, if you want me to cook something, just give me ingredients. Oh, there you go. The fancy. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll make you something wonderful. Nice. Well, I'm going to come there just for the souffle. What are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Say it like right. in New York. I'm going to get a souffle. <laughs> Steven, right. this is a little bit of sap, l'imaginaire. Ah. Um, la vie imaginaire. Ooh. Et on va commencer par l'objet irréel. L'acte d'imagination, bon, dans notre cas, comme nous ne venons pas de le voir encore, Ooh. est un acte magique. C'est une incantation destinée à faire apparaître l'objet auquel on pense, la chose qu'on désire, de façon qu'on puisse en prendre possession. Il y a dans cet acte toujours quelque chose d'impérieux et d'enfantin, un refus de tenir compte de la distance, des difficultés. Ainsi, le tout, le tout jeune enfant de son lit agit sur le monde par ordres et prières. À ces ordres de la conscience, les objets obéissent. Ils apparaissent. Mais ils ont un mode d'existence très particulier que nous allons tenter de décrire. Oh, I don't even know what that was, but it sounded dirty and I like it. So there you go. So... <laughs> right, that was like a... <laughs> There you go. So, Nush, as always, it is a pleasure to have you. This was so, you so much. Thank you so much. And Monday, special show. Yes. Um, and we'll put it out by noon uh, Eastern time for everybody on Monday that misses you because you're doing something very special. And we'll make sure yes, David, yes, yes, David yes, brings yes. them a call. It will be a first, the first of many, a special yes. celebration of the beginning of May. So may we do a great show then. And also, we have a whole bunch of new shows coming in May. One of them is called Social Intercourse, where they talk up women are going to talk about dating and world politics and whatever. So we may have to get you on that show. That'll be interesting. <laughs> oh my God. This, uh, and the puppets. God forbid. Yeah, there you go. And David will be back, everybody, on Monday with his puppets, um, yes. which in itself will be interesting. Oh. Hmm. A cow. Yeah, so we'll make sure he brings in the cow. Priceless. Why? Priceless. It good. Yes, it was good. It was good. Everybody have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and like new shows. Shalom, almost. Yes. yes. Shalom. Shalom. Always a pleasure, everybody. Talk to you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>